climbing Mount Everest from the London Underground escalators. It's a crazy challenge. We've literally just got 12 hours to climb a mountain that most people take about three weeks to do in the laziest way we can imagine. Videos apparently not allowed in the We've got, we've got to get out of here now. But now we've completed that, we've only got 8,828 metres left to go. Pretty simple concept for a video, really. Or so we thought. We're off to find a better escalator! So we've made it to Angel Station. This in front of us is the tallest escalator in the entire world. We think it's the tallest in Western Europe. So we're going to try and grind. Let's grind. This is not the tallest, this is this is the wrong. We may have got that bit wrong. Look at before we filmed. Here we go. This is where we're gonna try and wrap up as many meters as we can. Okay, we got it wrong. So how tall is this one? This is glacier is 27 meters long. We sound like nerds. We did spend a lot of time researching this video. <laughs> and we've made it to the surface. When we're gonna go back down and up and down and up and down and up again. So we won't see it for long. So we've literally not asked anyone's permission to do this. We didn't think we needed to. There are people at the top of this escalator. I don't know how long it's going to be till they cost it on. There's no, we're not legally doing anything wrong, we don't think. But we don't think we can get kicked out of doing this. But it does look weird, so we might get some uninvited attention. You were still on the wrong side of the escalator. And? Oh, no. We actually did oh, I'm trying to get a thumbnail shot. Not that thumbnail! Maybe, it's time to go to another station. Nah, I think we can do a few more, we'll be alright. Plus five. Just us playing loads and loads of safety announcements. I think they're trying to smoke us out. That guy really doesn't like me. Yeah, I think we might be approaching the limits of uh, what we can get away with her. We continued on without the cameras and everything must have been in our heads because we actually managed to get to 23 between us. Cue jarring the out of place piece to camera. We're typing everything we do into a spreadsheet so we can track exactly where we are at Everest in real time. Wow, you got it to the centimetre? That's more accurate than the real thing. We're on 698.69 metres, by the way. Forgot to mention that. So we've now arrived at Hampstead Tube Station. It's the deepest tube station in the whole of London. And you might know, it's not actually got an escalator, it's got a staircase. So we're going to race up it, and the loser's going to donate £10 to Meningitis Research Foundation. Yeah. You ready? Ready. So you're probably wondering by now why we're actually doing all of this. Well, this August I'll be hiking 130 kilometres up to Kalapatar, a summit on the side of Mount Everest, to raise money for Meningitis Research Foundation. I've gone for the pro strap, I've gone on the outside because the stairs are wider, so there's less chance of me looking like a knob when I fall. Lovely Jubbly. Unlucky Joey. What an idiot. One in ten people in the UK carry the bacteria that causes meningitis at any one time, including one in four students like me. And it's the same story across the globe. Meningitis Research Foundation are working tirelessly to consign the world's second biggest killer of children to the history books. If you'd like to donate or find out any more about what they're doing, then I've left plenty of links below. But in the meantime, enjoy watching how utterly physically unprepared I am for the real thing. Oh, it's ugly. Okay, I think we're just like all in this together now. Yeah. We seem to be beating Sam, though. We've made it to the end of the spot of death. We're gonna walk arm in arm. Oh. You monster. Because Ellis and I made a joint venture. We'll both donate 10 pounds. It's Meningitis Research Foundation. And because I need to bend the rules. I will also donate £10 to the Meningitis Foundation. Donate 10 down below too. It's a worthy below. cause. So we're now out of the tube station. I'm treating Ellis and Sam to a bit of blue sky. We're going to summit a real mountain or hill because I felt we needed to do that in this video. So we're going to Parliament Hill, the tallest hill in the city. Whoa, look at all these trees, guys. 
We all look happy here, gallivanting around Hampstead Heath, taking the scenic route up. We spent over an hour in total prattling about, so when you see us looking smug in the next piece to camera, just imagine what our faces looked like 10 minutes later when we realised that the elevation gain between the station entrance and the summit was only 19 metres. Just like that, the summit of the tallest hill in London. The views are absolutely incredible. We also forgot to film any shots of the views. So in the end, the only thing we actually had to show for it was this one joke that Sam and Ellis somehow remembered to film instead. And it turned out that we couldn't even get that right. There's no wind. <laughs> Moving on. Now it's time to go back underground. So this time we've decided we're going to alternate, we're going to tag in, tag out, relay it. Each time someone goes up there, we're adding that to the total. And hopefully it might last here a bit longer. There's a guy in a box literally a meter from the top of the escalator. And it's still going. Back down we go. Nice view. Let's go. Having a wonderful time going up and down. High five. Hey! We've just heard an announcement. Cheeky announcement. Video is apparently not allowed in the station. Joey's just gone up for a run holding his camera, so if we see him again, we're not sure. That's 36. Alright. The guy's just got out of his box. Benning's very happy. Sam just heard an announcement. There was an announcement. The video's not allowed. We've got, we've got to get out of here now. With filming in stations becoming increasingly difficult, we decided this would be the perfect opportunity to go to where I'd planned for us all to have lunch. Which went about as well as the rest of the video had gone so far. Oh! Joey mate, where are you? Oh! Oh! Why can't oh! I oh! So we've blindfolded Sam and taken him all the way to the other side of London. He doesn't know where we are, but we're about to surprise him with some traditional Nepalese food for lunch. No, because I've done the research. It turns out that it's not here on a Thursday. Let's find some better for lunch. Given the time struggles, we decided to settle for the next best thing. Now our next move requires a bit of explanation. This is Nick Weiser. He's a massive inspiration and great friend of mine. Four years ago, he got banned from the entirety of Canary Wharf, the district, just for stepping off a tube with a DSLR camera hanging around his neck. Despite being pushed for time, we decided to avenge Nick's plight by riding their escalators for as long as possible. You know, because it's not like anything could go wrong. Honestly, Nick, we're not sure why you got kicked out, because there's no one monitoring this. In fact, we've got not the tallest of escalators, but it's a decent escalator. We're outside the gates, we're not in the tube station, we're not in Canary Wharf, we're in some sort of purgatory in between. We reckon we can just grind on this and do it. But Sam and I are going to see who got the most in the next half an hour, and whoever's done the most, that's all that adds to our total. Go! I mean, if we're going with a high total, then I may as well just leave Sam to it and have a bit of a relax for half an hour. Shall we? Uh, uh, I think it might be time to go. I, th I think, yeah, I think it is time. I think it's time to go. So it's actually half past five now, getting a bit worried. I mean, we had a really good run in there. We did a thousand metres, and if we find another station where they don't cost on for quite a while, then we might have a really good shot of doing it. But now we're going to walk back to the Elizabeth Line station in Canary Wharf, because we feel not welcome in the Jubilee Line station. By the way, guys, so that you may not have seen all day, Joey's carrying the backpack. Hey! Once we'd sat down on the Elizabeth Line, it dawned on us just how far behind we were with three quarters of the climb left and only five hours before the last train home. Feeling quite anxious, we surfaced at Liverpool Street, 
realising we'd need a complete change of strategy to have any hope of reaching the summit. We're coming up with a new game plan. We know that escalators that end at the booking halls don't work very well because there's TFL staff there and they see us and think it's weird and we feel awkward and we leave. So we're looking through our list now and we're looking for an escalator that doesn't have a booking hall at the top. Piccadilly Circus, intermediate level on the Piccadilly line. That's about the same length as we just did. Oxford Street, hellish environment. Old Street, London Bridge, Link Passage, Jubilee Line, West End. That's 13.78. That has promise. So we're going to go to London Bridge. We're going to take advantage of the escalators that don't end or start at booking hall. Let's go. London Bridge would be make or break for us. We decided splitting up was our best option, organically flowing with the crowds to stay hidden, and counting any escalator that any of us managed to climb up towards our total. After 45 minutes, we'd meet up at the top to discuss whether the challenge would ultimately still be viable. There's escalators at both ends of the corridor, so we're just doing big figure of eight loops to avoid suspicion. I think we're really on something here. My feet feel like they're going to fall off. Hey. Hey. Alright, so what's the plan, boys? We'll add it up, we'll get the laptop. Let's do it. The audio quality of our conversation was pretty bad. I think we just witnessed a mugging. <laughs> but we calculated that we'd climbed 1,315 metres between us, making our total altitude still just 3,928 metres. The news was dire. At the rate we'd gone, there was just no way of still reaching the summit, even if we stayed at London Bridge. But, whilst we'd been circling the station, I'd come up with an idea which could potentially offer us one final throw of the dice. When you climb a mountain, right, you don't start at sea level. You don't start at sea level, do you? What? You start at the start, right? Where's the start of Everest then? Google the it, Google it. It's like 50 metres up from Where's the start of Everest? It's the lowest possible place you can actually start climbing Everest from. It's 2,846 metres. This is incidentally where I'm going to be starting my climb. It's the lowest possible place you can start. It's Tenzin Hillary Airport. It's Lukla Airport. It's also the world's most dangerous airport, so look forward to with this revelation, we calculated that we were now only 2,074 metres from the top. We were elated, and as we wandered around looking for a quick snack before we continued, we struck gold. Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is that an escalator? That's an escalator. So this here is an escalator which we believe we cannot get kicked off of. If that is the case, if no one can kick us off, no one can stop us going up and down, we can actually complete this challenge on this escalator and not have to worry. We quickly set out to measure the height of our find, managing in the process to film this channel's worst ever segment. Welcome to Joey got 97% in his final physics A-level exam. That is as much as you are ever going to see. Anyway, our magical mystery escalator measured in at around 7 metres, and through the miracle of science, we determined that Sam and I would need to split 300 ascents between us. So just like that, the stage was set for our final showdown. Better crack on then. Number 77, halfway there, progress is good. Just going down after reaching number 98. Two thirds away the there, this is really, really good. I'm at 132. 127. We've nearly climbed Everest. You've just got three left, I've got one. So, Sam has just finished his 149th climb. All that separates us from the summit of Everest is this one escalator. So we're gonna climb it. Thank you.